Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Wrestling Roundup, and what a week we have had in WWE. Like, holy shit, there's a lot to talk about. So let's get started. So last Sunday was the Survivor Series pay-per-view. It was a doozy. Here are the results. There were two matches on the pre-show. First, the new and improved, new and improved, Von Dongo, who's now paired with Rosa Mendez, took on Justin Gabriel and beat him. The second match was Cesaro vs. Jack Swagger, and Jack Swagger got the win. The Miz and Damian Mizdow won the WWE Tag Team Championship. The team of Natalya, Naomi, Emma, and Alicia Fox defeated Team Paige in a clean sweep. No one from Team Alicia Fox got eliminated. Bray Wyatt defeated Dean Ambrose by disqualification after Bray brought in a chair and Dean hit Bray with it. After the match, Dean went crazy and destroyed Bray with tables, chairs, and was about to use a ladder, but was stopped, setting up a match for TLC. It'll be a TLC match between Bray Wyatt and Dean Ambrose. In an impromptu match, Adam Rose and the Bunny defeated Slater Gator. Mickey Bella won the Divas Championship from AJ Lee in like 35 seconds with the help of Brie Bella, who kissed AJ on the ring apron, very uh, similar to Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus at WrestleMania 28. And the main event was phenomenal. In the end, Team Cena defeated Team Authority, so the Authority is out of power. And Dolph Ziggler was the sole survivor, taking out three people. But he had a little help. finally happened. Sting made his WWE debut at Survivor Series, coming out to confront Triple H, and he ended up helping Dolph Ziggler get the victory. So with the authority out of power, the next night on Raw, Daniel Bryan made his return and took over power for the week. Also on Raw, The Miz and Damian Miz now retained their WWE Tag Team titles against Golden Stardust. Corporate Kane became Concessions Kane. The main event saw Dolph Ziggler and John Cena defeat Seth Rollins, Jamie Noble, and Joey Mercury. And after the match, it was announced that the anonymous Raw general manager will be making his return next week. On SmackDown, Rusev retained the United States Championship in a 20-man over-the-top rope battle royal. Also on SmackDown, The New Day, consisting of Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Xavier Woods, made their debut and defeated Curtis Axel and Slater Gator in a six-man tag. So along with Bray and Dean in a TLC match, another match was announced for the TLC pay-per-view. It will be Ryback versus Kane in a chairs match. It was announced that next week on the WWE Network, following Raw, there will be a live podcast, Stone Cold Steve Austin, with his special guest, Vince McMahon. So along with Sting making his debut, the other biggest wrestling-related news has to do with former WWE superstar CM Punk. This week, he was on his best friend Cole Cabana's podcast, The Art of Wrestling. Basically, he talked about everything having to do with WWE. Why he left, what happened, why he was unhappy there. It was a must-listen. And with Sting making his debut at Survivor Series, rumor going around is that he might not be around for just one match, like many are thinking. He might do multiple matches. Either way, it's just awesome to have him. And that moment on Sunday, will be one of the greatest Survivor Series moments in history. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out that CM Punk podcast with Colt Cabana. It is, it's something. But yeah, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next week. Death.